what you do makes a difference and you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. Are you ready to go beyond the finish line towards sustainability and find the difference you want to make? Then join us at the 8th Project Management Regional Conference held at Trivandrum on 21st of May. You'll get a golden opportunity to listen to eminent speakers and leaders. And I'm very excited to be one of them. Now that was an inspirational session. Now there is one thing that I thought somebody would ask. How is it that so many Toastmaster accomplishments were said? What is the essence behind it? Anybody from the audience? Do you know he started his speech with one point? A person gets on stage and cries. A person gets on stage and comes last, but still comes back. The magic is on the stage. Toastmasters believes in practice makes perfect. So it is for a person like me who froze on stage the first time, forgot uh, where she was on the fifth speech. So this is what happens when you have a stage to practice. Somebody got up here and made the difference in their life. Now, I heard that all of you all come from different um, parts of uh, fields. Some of you all are engineers, some in different types of engineering. So many types of, uh, every person is unique. But what if you think you have an option of an alternative career? You can do what you love and you can do something else that you love. So that is where another facet of Toastmasters come in. Did you know Toastmasters runs an international speaking championship? Formerly known as the Toastmasters International World Champion of Public Speaking which is held annually at its international convention in August. It started in 1938 and involves over 33,000 participants in 141 countries, making the world's largest oratory contest. The winner takes home the title, a substantial cash prize and an alternative career. So, these opportunities in Toastmasters are not just restricted to adults. Young students who join the Toastmaster movement below the age of 18 are called Gavilliers. As the speaker before me had mentioned about it, Gavel clubs are there all over the world, training young minds in leadership and communication skills. Today, we have with us Ayan Bicha, a grade 9 student. He is a state champion in art of storytelling, district champion in product launch in 2019, winner of several table topic contests all over the world. I am, was the contest chair for the first ever World Gavalier Championship of Public Speaking in 2021. He is also the national champion of 2021 and the finalist of the World Gavalier Champion of 2022. He is emerging anchor and public speaker at this age. English YouTuber, please put your hands together to encourage and welcome the effervescent Gavalier I am Vicha on to the stage. Thank you so much, ma'am, for the wonderful Introduction. James glanced up at the ceiling. And there he saw the most extraordinary sight. Something that looked like a gigantic fly without wings. It was standing upside down upon its six legs in the middle of the ceiling. And the tail end of this creature seemed to be literally on fire. A brilliant greenish light, as bright as the brightest electric bulb, was shining out of its tail and lighting up.
the whole room. Is that a global? Ask James. <laughs> Embarrassed? Why on earth this boy is speaking, making no sense? Distinguished Toastmasters, honorable guests, eminent speakers of the day, and my dear friends, a great day to all present here. I was just reading from the story, James and the Giant Peach. And yes, it was Glover, the Glover, the hero. It was getting dark, and the sun, after a long, grueling day of hard labor, was retiring. The night, all set to take off, appeared gloomy and gutted, very disheartened. For there was none to decorate it and open it. It watched the sun. Fading into slumber. <laughs> I'm alone. I'm nobody. No one wants me. Why am I like this? Ladies and gentlemen, two years back, I happened to come across a world full of glow worms. As many of you did, I too was confined at home because of the most wanted Corona. The world I stepped into was a universe of tiny, little, savage glowworms. I got in carefully and cautiously. Wonder stop listening to the bar of words. Some spoke about fixing something and doing yoga. Some smoke in front of a huge audience and said smoking did never harm anyone. But after to eat the cigarette, he took out the smoke back into his pocket. Some even boasted about how well they held a shoe of someone else. No, over. The most shocking of them all was one who dressed up in a suit and wore a tie but chose to wear his underwear over his pants. And that too, right in front of the curious spectators. He even dared to call all those spectators losers. And then came the most iconic of all. Ahab, I see something in you, but I don't know what it is. I was becoming one of them. I was exploring a world of respect, love, and care. And a boy who had none other than his lonely mourn to support, was getting transformed into a major influencing speaker. Who on earth would have thought this boy would talk to the world? The glow worms in the world of Toast Masters, you. You still have a lot of light to shed. You could be the last hope that can make someone's life. Every time you stand up, speak and clap for someone, you are assuming the role of the stars, the moon and the global. You are the global, the hero. Thank you. I want to begin by saying thank you to 
Mr. J. Kishore, who is your president, and Hari Kutu, Vice President of Finance, for facilitating my presence here. I made it just in time from Delhi flight. It was delayed by three hours, but see, it's made it in time. I thought Trivandrum was raining. It was bright sunshine, yeah. to my surprise. But you need the rain, don't you? Don't you? So why have you driven it away? <laughs> Friends, I was watching you a little bit in between before the flight and after the flight, the panelists you invited, and I was picking up a lot of interesting, uh, interesting information for myself. Look, as a government official, I've looked at every assignment of mine as a project. That's how I fit in. That's how I think I fit in. And I have a presentation for you today. How I, in every assignment I've got, some of you as project managers, you know your time limits. You know the tenures. You know the pot chart. And you follow the schedule. In government officials, we don't know. Because we just post it. So whatever you wish to do, you begin, you hit the ground running. You hit the ground running. You sometimes don't know the budgets. So therefore, but you and I have one thing in common which I heard my previous speaker speak, is people. We both are here for one common purpose, to serve people, to enhance their quality of life. Because whatever infrastructure, whatever project we have, whatever, whether it's infrastructure, it's concrete, or it's new, but it's people, it's all people-centric. So I have a presentation for you, to show you. Have a look at it. I want to know how many minutes we have, so that we can have more and more Q&A. It's, it's 10 minutes to 5. Have you? Huh? 5.35. Plenty of time? <laughs> That's a lot of time. Okay, 5.35. So can we give 15 minutes for QA? Yes. And just give me one minute notice so I can do a roundup. Yes, I'm going to show you some slides of mine, which I think which will be, which I'm not sure whether you've had an administrator or a public servant coming and speaking at the PMRs. Have you in the past? Yes. yes. Yes? Yes. Good. So this is nothing unusual, is it? So I can skip it? <laughs> <laughs> or I have another choice. We can straight away go into what are the good practices? Why don't we share? I have an option. Share good practices of project management and bad practices. Okay, let's forget about bad practices. Then good practices. That means no, everybody no. goes to no, learn from each other. We have two options. Have I have a presentation for you, and we also have an option to do great brainstorming where we can yes. say, This is good practice. I follow this. I follow this. I follow this. That means you can take each other's good practice. We have an option. If you've done this exercise, we skip it. If you haven't, we do it. What do you think about it? It's a good idea? I thought the second one was a good idea. Your perspective first. My perspective first. Okay. But I thought I could learn from you too. <laughs> good. I've also come to learn from you. Because the good practices which you follow are all good management practices. When you deal with the management. Because I've had project I, Look, every secretary in the government, if he or she was called a project manager, I think governance will overnight change. The moment you call them secretary, they think they are there forever. And that they are there as secretary sitting in the secretary. But the moment you call them secretary, project management agriculture, project management COVID, project management education, project management health, the whole pattern changes and can change. But then it's not attractive enough as a designation. Okay, so let me show you certain things which I did exactly from an executive management point of view, which I think enabled me to ride over many waves. So go ahead, see one.
That's it. Now, see these slides, and then since we are going to leave a lot of time, no cameras. We, we just had one message. But how did we make it a grand success? We had only photocopy. We had those. We didn't even have a photocopy. But we are running there. These are the playlists we are running. And after six years, we put them into better schools, hostels, and also home care. And they were neighborhood schools. And some of them have now become air hostels. Wow. Next slide. These are all books, which is the basis of your book. This is the packet I took, took along. This is the luggage. All books, all book documents. This book has come out of all this. I wanted you to see it. There's no clothing in this. All books, which went from Pathanivas in the truck. Thank you. 